um, 7-1, and it's called fractions and percents. If you don't have a calculator, why don't you quick grab one? Why don't you quick? I don't have one. Grab Alice, you got me one? No. Alice, you got me one? This should not be too tough. I think you guys can handle this all right. I don't know, Mr. Cook. I ain't very bright. Oh, you'll be bright enough for this. Austin, did you really not grab me one? <laughs> no. You'll we'll, 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 we'll grab your own. And just so Thank you know, you since really I'm recording yourself. this, everything that you guys say is being recorded also. <laughs> so just so you're aware of that. There's nothing no. bad or good about it. I just want full disclosure. Okay, so when we change fractions to percents, the first thing that I always want you to know is that the number one number, Grace, that we always need to remember with percent is 100. So that's kind of our key number. So the key number here is 100. Percents are always out of 100. How are you recording this right now? Um, because I have a button. Did you not see it? I'll show you here quick. Um, one of my options is to record, and then I get this little thing up there, and that, see that circle? It's orange, and when I push it, it starts recording. So, so right now, so it's recording my voice, and it's recording what I write. It's not recording any people. But can you can hear us right now? Yeah. yeah. When we're done, I'll play just the first part back, okay? Yeah. Or you can, <laughs> yeah, that's on there. All right, so when I change fractions to percents and percents to fractions, we're going to have two different things that we're going to write down. The first thing is that we will change um, a percent to a fraction. Ooh, wow. So number one, number one, we're going to change a percent to a fraction. Now, some of these are going to be really, really, really simple, but some of them, or since we're in pre-algebra now, we're going to kick them up a notch, and I'm going to throw you a couple curveballs. So when I change a percent to a fraction, what I do is I put it over 100 and then reduce. So that is our, those are your steps. Put it over 100 and then reduce or simplify or put it in lowest terms or whatever you want to call that. I'm going to just say reduce because that's the shortest to write. So we're going to reduce it. So give me a percent, Anthony. 500. Uh, give me one that's less than 100. I'm sorry, I should have said that. 99%. 99%. Okay, so if I'm going to change 99% to a fraction, I just put 99 over 100. Can I reduce 99 over 100? No. No, no. no. so it's reduced. That's the answer. 99 over 100. Okay, give me another percent that's less than 100, Austin. No. 53. No. Can I get, can I get no, that work. Yeah. 14. So let's do 14%. Okay, 14%. I just put 14 over 100. Now, can that be reduced? 7 50th. How did you get 7 and 50? I divided them both by 2. Divide them both by 2. So let's divide them both by 2. If you want to write that there, you can, and that gives me 7 over 50. All right, now those are all quite simple. So let's kick it up a notch here. And our next one, what if I had... Um, let's say that we were raising money for a goal, and our goal was $10,000, but we raised $12,000. We raised more than 100% of our goal. We maybe raised 130% of our goal. So how would I write that for as a fraction? Well, what do my directions say? They say put it over 100 and reduce. So I put 130 over 100. You, have to, you just have to turn it to a We're going to leave it a fraction because we're comparing the two things. So we're going to leave it improper. Tyler, how do I reduce that? Tessa, you said it. Divide by 10. Divide by 10. I can just cross off my zeros, which just gives me 13. And I'm going to leave it 13 tenths. I'm not going to change it to 1 and 3 tenths. What? I, if I were you, I would write a couple of these down. Oh. Just so you got them to look at. Because I'm, I'm working pretty hard on getting you guys good notes this semester. That's kind of one of my New Year's resolutions, is to help this specific class here take really good notes, and not only take good notes, keep track of them. Yeah. I know, but you know what? Everybody has their notes today on day three. Right? That's all right. Okay, let's try another one. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah. That's all right. If you want that on the uh, on the recording for everyone to hear, that's what Mr. Okay. Next. Now, that, let's do another one like that. Let's see. I want you to try this one on your own. You can do it on your whiteboard, or you can do it on in your notes. I don't care. What if I had um, one hundred eighty-five percent? Change that to a fraction, please. One hundred eighty-five percent. Try that one on your own. Please you? Yes. That's why I gave him to you today. I could do it. A fraction. So you're going to do what? Put it over 100? 100? And no, put it over 200. 100. Okay, I, um, I don't think you... Well, yeah, whatever. You just try it. And... you want us to just keep a fraction? Yes, I don't want you to make it a mixed number. So Tyler, what did you get? 37 minutes. Wrong. So we divided by 5. Well, we put 185 over 100, divided by 5, and got, let's see, 5 or 3, 37 over, what did you say, 20? Okay, 37, 20. Okay, and still, those are pretty simple. Even though we kind of kicked it up a notch, now we're really going to kick it up a notch, okay? Because now we're going to have some, these things. some, huh? Got these. Yep. Now we're going to have some percents that have some decimals in them. Okay. No. So if you haven't been writing anything down yet, this is definitely one that you will want to put in your notes. So let's write 15.5 percent. Now if I go back to my directions here, put it over 100. I put it over 100, and then what? Reduce. Well. We're going to have to add a step here. So we're going to put it over 100. So let's do that. 15.5 over 100. The problem is I can't have a decimal in the middle of a fraction. So what could I do to... No, I'm not going to write it because I want the exact answer. What could I do with that decimal on the top? I'm going to move it one place. So I'm going to change it to 155. However, to, yeah, keep, to, to keep the value the same, very good, Anthony, i got to also move it on the bottom. So what does 100 change to? 1,000. 1,000. Now I want you to stop for a second, and I want you to look at that, and I want you to look at those two fractions and see what I did. That's not too tough, is it? Yeah, real tough. I changed 15.5 to 155, and I changed 100 to 1,000. So, so really, what did I do to both of those numbers? I took them each times 10. 10. I took them each times 10. That's not too bad. Now, can I reduce this? No. Yes. Thank you. We divide by what? Five. 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 So what? Thirty-one over what's a thousand divided by five? We should know. One hundred divided by five is twenty. Twenty hundred. Two hundred. Okay. So thirty-one over two hundred. Okay. Let's do one more like this together, and then I want to give you one like this to try on your own. Okay. So let's try. Um. Give me a, fra a decimal less than a hundred, a percent that's a decimal that's less than a hundred. What? A decimal. I need a decimal. 50.5. What did you say? 50.5. 50.5. Actually, let's try 50.8. Okay? 50.8%. First step, what do I do? Tessa, what's my first step? Put it over... Hundred. Do like the equal, and then let's do fifty point eight over hundred. Excellent. Okay, but remember, I can't have that decimal inside of a fraction. So what do I do? On the top. Five hundred eight over a thousand. Move it over. Five hundred eight over a thousand. Let's go. I'm tired. I am too. I'm sorry. You know what, though? We're almost done, Anthony, so let's hang in there and finish strong. What's, what can I divide each of these by? Two. two four. 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 Let's do four. That way it'll be easier. What, well, I know what's 1,000 divided by four. That's easy. 250. What's 508 divided by four? I don't know off the top of my head. One. What did you say? 127. 127. That's a lie. She's not too Is that right? Can I, yeah. can I reduce any farther on that? Yes, you can. I can. What goes into both 127 and 250? Two. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Four does. Actually, if you take two, the 
Technically. Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you one of these to try on your own, okay? Please try try it. Yeah. No, this one I'm not going to talk at all. You're going to try it, and then um, we'll get going. Okay, try it, and then we're going to do um, fractions to percents, and then we're done. Yay. Okay, so try this one. This is going to be your big curveball here. 0.2%. Try that one, please. 0.2%. So remember, we always put it... Oh, I said I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah. I'll stop. I think I got it. What did you get? Is there any bed bones that I would like to try what happened and I put them into this bowl? Um, no, that's for like an ox cord. Does it have a speaker in it? No. It's like to download new software and things. Okay, what about more? I need to have a moment. Download it. Download it. Download it. Alright, so our answer, we put 0.2 over 100, which changes to 2 over 1,000, which is 1 over 500. Input. Alright, what? Tessa, so, so do you think you could wait like four yeah, more minutes and then we'll... I like them both by four. No, you, it's two over a thousand. You'll have to divide by two. Oh, because I have to multiply two. Just once, yep. Okay, now we've gone from percents to fractions. Now we're going to go from fractions to percents. So this is number two. So write down number two in your notes. And this is going to be fractions to percents. This is way easier. Let's use up that whole page on examples. That's all right. You've got a, you've got a free freaking notebook. What are you whining about? Free freaking rhymes. Not really. No, it doesn't. Alliteration. Alliteration. Fractions to percents. And this is pretty simple. So I'm just uh, what I would do is I would. Uh, if it's a really easy one, say for instance one fourth, uh, you might even know what that is. Do you know what that uh, is? That's twenty five percent. If you don't know that, remember our key number that always goes with percents. What 100. is it? One hundred. So we can put equals something over a hundred. I know four times twenty five is a hundred. One times twenty five is twenty five. <sighs> Sorry. So it's twenty five percent. Okay, that's pretty easy. But they aren't always going to work out like that. Say for instance <laughs> that I have two ninths. Nine doesn't go into a hundred, so I can't do that. However, what does that line mean on crash? Divide. Oh, it's divide. Take two divided by nine. Not nine divided by two. Two divided by nine. You always start at the top. Two divided by nine. What do you get when take Point. two? Point two two two. Let's round it to the nearest whole number. Which is twenty point two two. And when I move the decimal two places, what do I get? Twenty two. Twenty two percent. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say divide, then move. The decimal two places to the right. Two places to the right. I'm going to give you two more to do and then I'm done. It's good. Oh, it's hot in here. It is. I've had the heat off. Heat off. You're going to win then. I don't think I have to. I'm going to make the great one. Okay, I'm going to give you two to try. I lied. Three to try. What? Try these three. Two thirds. I'm getting a mark. One fifth. Oh, two thirds is easy. It is. And nine seventeenths. And I would like good rounding on here. I want you to round to the nearest whole number. So I don't want any decimals. No decimals. I'm not sure what they'll say on your homework, but for right now, for these three, and I want these as percents. So. You can get your calculators. You can use them for this. All three. Change them two percent. Move the two places to the right. Any 
any questions? Oh, one straight thing. Okay. So what'd you get for the first one? 66%. I want it rounded to the nearest whole number. 67%. Thank you. 67%. Grace, how about one fifth? Uh, 20%. Or 20%. Um, how about nine seventeenths, Tyler? 50%. Is that right? I didn't do it on the campus. Yeah, is that yeah. rounded correctly? Yes, yeah. Yeah. 0.53. 0.529. 0.529. Good job. Entry. Actually, I should on these two, I shouldn't have an equal sign. What should I have instead? About. I should have about. Because we rounded. Okay, does anybody have any questions? No. I'm going to shut off the recording now. Okay. Bye.